Hello, it's Amanda again. Uh, here with Amanda Moments, and it's time for another golden vlog. Let's see, we're in April now, and so uh, you'd think that spring is here, but it hasn't really hit Fargo yet, at least as of um, filming this. We actually have a little bit of snow outside, so that's pretty lame. What can you do? Um, so this month's golden vlog is kind of about celebrating ourselves and um, what makes us awesome and what makes drives our creative side and so yeah instead of uh it's it's kind of a natural follow-up to the insecurities vlog that we did a few months back um, so kind of the counter of that um, you know what makes you happy so this should be a pretty fun one. Um, so the first question this month is, what is your beta <clears throat> excuse me, what is your biggest accomplishment that you are proud of? And um, right now, anyway, it's buying a house. Um, I'll be sharing a lot more about that here. In the next month or two uh, because we still have one month to go till closing so it's not a done deal yet but um, so far it's been going really great and um, it makes me feel like adult like and um, I am pretty proud of myself that we're doing this on our own finally yay um, who are your biggest fans or encouragers? That would definitely be my husband. Um, it's one of the things I've really grown to love about him is he always is there for me uh, through the good and the bad. But um, whenever I don't know what to do, you know, he gives me advice and kind of makes things clearer on what my options are and but no matter what path I choose he's always behind me and I, I never doubt that and that feels really awesome I think my my parents are pretty proud of me too which which feels nice so. uh, what creative pursuits bring joy into your life You know, a new thing that I'm sure is going to be coming up for me is um, decorating my new home. I'm really excited about starting to plan some of it. Um, hopefully I'll, you know, grow a, a bit of a green thumb and get a little more skilled at interior decorating. Um, otherwise, I don't... I guess do have a ton of creative pursuits. I mean, I'm a writer by day and often by night, so I guess that kind of does it. Writing and reading and, you know, introvert problems. Um, <laughs> How do you typically react when you receive a compliment? So I think that Faith wrote this question hoping to, you know, shine light into the fact that a lot of women can't just accept a compliment. And we often justify it or, you know, give the praise to someone else rather than just accept that sometimes we're awesome and that we do a good job at things. Um, and I'm totally guilty of that. And, you know, a lot of times if someone says I did a good job at work, I'll say, oh, you know, couldn't have done it without so-and-so, or oh, it wasn't that hard, it was nothing. Um, and if it's something physical, it usually just makes me blush, and I don't know how to feel. Like if, you know, they say you're pretty, or I like your hair, which I don't know how to say that because my hair generally sucks slightly. Um, yeah, I just get a little weird, like, oh, thanks, thanks, I guess. So, I, that's something I should get better at, because I, from the other side, when you give someone a compliment, 
you want them to feel good that you gave them some praise, and so we should just accept it. Um, next question is, how do you nurture your creative side? Which is kind of similar to um, the other question. You know, I, for that good um, work-life kind of mental health balance, I have to make sure that I have enough me time. And I've been trying to give myself a lot of that lately is sort of the, you know, healing process from the crappy year that 2015 was. And, you know, just investing a lot into, in the downtime I have from work or social commitments, just doing whatever the hell makes me happy. And a lot of times that's just sitting here on the couch with my pets and my husband watching TV and movies and reading. And I take warm bubble baths and eat food and kind of do nothing. That makes me really happy. Um, but I've also had to do some journaling um, as part of my therapy homework. And for the last couple of months, I found that it's, I always sort of dread knowing that I have to do it, but once I get going, it it really does help make things more clear for me, and I found myself actually working through uh, kind of some things on my own just from that. So that's been really good for me. Um, so, what's this question now? Do your activities and lifestyle contribute to your sense of self-worth and well-being? Um, so lately, yeah. And I've another thing I've been working on is trying to set more boundaries just for myself um, and give myself some slack and some credit at the same time. I'm trying to find that good work-life balance, so. You know, sometimes even though there's still more work to do, I uh, I just have to leave at the end of the day because it's it's time to go home, and I I do deserve that that mental break, and I, I need that. Um, and then when I'm home, I try to just be home, and sort of separate some of those worlds, and and that is helping, um, kind of helping me stay where I am, and so I, I think that that is sort of a roundabout answer to the question, but that kind of does it. Um, and this one is, does something or someone else dictate how you spend your time, feel, or act? Um, sometimes work does, yeah. Um, you know, when you spend, what is it, a third of your life <laughs> at work, it's kind of hard for it not to affect you that deeply sometimes, um, especially as someone like me who tends to take a lot of things very personally and invests a lot into something. Um, and so, yeah. But I, I'm trying to not let it, like I said. So, sometimes no, sometimes yes. And are you surrounding yourself with people that encourage and push you to be better or the opposite? And yeah, I mean, like I said, my husband's always my biggest encourager. and I admire him and how he treats me too. Um, and my friends and my family are always, you know, behind me too. Um... So I guess not thinking this further, yeah, I think I do surround myself with with good, positive people. And, you know, there's sometimes people in your life that you wouldn't choose for them to be in it, but they are uh, because of circumstances outside your control. And when that does happen, you just do your best to... You just do your best. Let's just say that. So... 
that is it for this month. This was actually kind of a short one for me. I guess I wasn't feeling too rambly tonight. But it is the end of a work week for me. So it's Friday night and I kind of getting settled in here for the night. So I thought I'd record this before I start doing my relaxing. Actually, I'm not even going to relax. I actually have Pinterest pulled up. I'm going to look up some home stuff. Yay. But that's fun. So. Yeah. That's all. Um, if you are also a blogger and watching this, I would love for you to come link up with us. Uh, we do these golden blogs every month. They're always fun, and you should do it. Um, and so we will be back next month, too. And so thank you for watching. Bye. There's my sign-off. Bye, guys.